Hello, my friends. It is such a rainy night in Virginia, and uh, we're in the process of getting ready for dinner. Tonight, we're going to have some pork chops, and we're going to do it sheet pan style with some corn. I've got some pre-cooked potatoes, and I'm just going to add a lots, of, lots of things that's going to go into the sheet pan. And so I'm going to take you along on the journey. But before I get there, I did not want to go any further without having, first of all, um, let you know that I really appreciate your kindness, your kind words, your um, those of you who have joined as subscribers and are part of our community. I certainly hope that you will continue to be in the kitchen. It is a lot of fun. I've had the blessings of having my grandkids with me this week, and you'll get to see little snippets of things that we did. And uh, I just, it, it's a wonderful time. It's wonderful being able to share with you uh, the knowledge that, that I have, some things I'm learning along the way, and I'm taking you along on the journey. So without further ado, Let's get down to cooking tonight's dinner of our sheet pan pork chops. My sheet pan, I've covered it with some non-stick foil. And uh, I'm going to lay down a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to take a cap full of that olive oil. And drizzle it on my pan. I also melted a little bit of butter. The reason for the butter is that it's going to help to brown the um, chops and the vegetables and kind of give them a golden brown. Um, so I'm putting my butter down as well. I have warmed it up. And now uh, I'm going to take a little uh, one of these little brushes and I'm just going to brush it all over the pan. That way I know for sure that everything that goes in this pan is going to get a coating of the butter. Okay, now I've got that done. I'll leave that there for now. Because I may have to do it before. Now, in this bag, I have seasoned pork chops. And I sprinkled in some paprika, some black pepper, some um, um, getting my fork. Some black pepper, some garlic powder, and uh, I'm looking back to make sure I got it all. Oh, a little celery salt. And uh, they're coated, you can see that. So I'm going to lay those down. I have four. And now what I'm going to do is kind of take one and tap it on another pork chop to make sure all the sides get good and coated and then put it down and I'm actually going to kind of flip it so that both sides as you can see this side needs a little coating I may have to go in and do a little extra seasoning along the way but that's okay I'm going to give these a little rub before I take them out that may help with that I thought I had done that but I was uh, working on another project as well and uh, got a little sidetracked. So, anyway, I have my chop number three and chop number four. Now, surrounding these chops, I'm going to have vegetables that are going to go in. And uh, I'm using my plastic bag that I had to uh, kind of keep things a little clean, if at all possible. I'm just going to sit those there. Got one more light I can turn on. And uh, the potatoes that I'm going to add to the pan are potatoes that I pre-cooked. But you'll notice that I'm going to put them in face down. And the reason I'm putting them face down is because with that screaming hot temperature, I I'm hoping they will toast uh, a bit. And I'll probably add in some more butter along the way just to guarantee that. So um, I've got those in. I'm going to 
potatoes in. I was going to actually bread the chops and I decided against it. I decided that I just wouldn't do that. That was additional calories I didn't need to have and we didn't need. I am gonna take a little pepperoncino and uh, sprinkle just a little. You know, it's all about the flavor, guys. And uh, I'm okay with the little little seasoning. You know, I was amazed when I did these peppers. I thought, oh geez, I'm only going to be able to use a, just a teeny tiny bit because I thought they would be extremely um, spicy, but they weren't. Surprisingly enough, they really aren't as hot as I had expected. So while these pepperoncinos add flavor, they do not add a lot of heat. Now, I'm going to add in some corn because I had some corn that needs to be used, so I'm going to add that as well. I have the oven set on 500 and I'm just waiting for it to come to temperature. We'll hear it in just a few moments. But in the meantime, I'm going to do a little seasoning of the vegetables. You'll see that I took my corn and when I'm going to do it this way, I kind of do a little pre-cook of the vegetables just to make sure that they don't have a long time to have to cook because I don't want to overcook the chops and uh, that was pepper got to throw on some celery salt which means that I don't need more salt because that's going to be taken care of now there's our butter and I'm going to kind of drizzle everything with a little extra butter. This is uh, paprika. Paprika will give it a little smokiness. And a little onion powder. You know, you gotta have everything in place. And you notice the only thing that had salt was the celery salt. The uh, butter. We use our brush. Especially the corn. I need to uh, touch that up very good. As you know, there's nothing like buttered corn. those potatoes so they'll get nice and toasty as well now I'm gonna go over the chops because I want them to be succulent nice and juicy and I will probably do just a little bit of basting along the way just to make sure my vegetables get good and hot. Now that was my oven. It is at 500 degrees. If it goes a few extra minutes before I get in there, that's perfect. It's going to be good and hot and that's what I want. I am hoping that within 15 minutes that everything will be sizzling and ready to come out and ready for dinner. Hey, how about that? That was so easy and so quick. Now, for those of you who are anti-butter, I think with keto you can have a little fat and uh, while you may not have all the vegetables or at least may not have corn or potatoes, you can certainly take care of the pork chop. So anyway, so voila, this is ready to go into the oven. 500 degrees. We're going to check it in 15 minutes. You're looking at my stove top. You can see the steam that's coming from the oven. There's a little vent right there. And I added an additional 10 minutes to the cooking time just because I want everything to kind of have a little crispy look. And I've had time enough to clean up the kitchen. Everything is clean except for the sheet pan and the plates that we're going to be eating our dinner on. So in five minutes, we're going to be ready to have dinner. 
Now, of course, during the time that we're waiting, during this five minutes, I am multitasking. So I am setting up my coffee pot for in the morning. So I've cleaned out the, the main reservoir. I'm going to add the water, get it set up. And yes, I'm one of those oldie goldies who still make an entire pot of coffee. And by the end of the morning, the pot of coffee is gone. Are you ready to see these sheep pan pork chops? Oh my goodness, your mouth is going to water. Oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? All the color. Can you see it? Wow. I am just absolutely ready. Everything is hot. Everything's ready. I'm going to get everything on the plate. And we're going to be ready to have dinner. Dinner is served, guys. Woo! All right, let's get everything on the plate. I've got a little spatula here. I'm going to first put the chop on. Woo! That looks so pretty. Let's see if I can back you up. I thought you could see that. Bring you back. I'm going to lift you up just a little. There we go. I want you to see what we're doing. Okay. Got the potatoes, the corn. This is going to be a delicious dinner. I just can't tell you how much I know. The big guy's going to love this. He loves corn. He loves potatoes. You know, real man. See how pretty that corn looks? Mm. Okay, that's ready. That's plate one. Just, I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness. There we go. You see the steam coming off of it? It is ready for his tray. It's time for plate two. Work out of this corner. Got the chop. Got my corn. Oop. He's running away. See all the little baked on goodness? Now actually, when this is all over with, there shouldn't really be much left other than maybe the pork chops. And I can certainly use those in leftovers later on. But there's plate number two, and that one's mine. So, I'll get a fork and give it a taste. Knife ready, and I've got a fork. Let me take that first cut. There we go. Mmm. It's nice and moist. It is very well seasoned. Now, guys, this didn't have to be pork chops. We could have done it the same way. We could have had chicken breast. All right, I'm grabbing another potato, as you can see here. We could have had chicken breast. You could have even had fish and done it in your sheet pan. So take advantage of your oven when you're trying to save time. Enjoy and have a blessed evening.